look at it again. I feel great, but I can't feel anything. This is my smile. I look crazy. My face is crooked. <laughs> All right, so I went to the dentist, had lots of cavities, found out I have a gum disease that has to be operated on or worked on or lasered off or whatever. And my mouth is jacked up. It's starting to get the filling back in a little bit now, but I still look a little crazy. I'm having vegan eggs because the girls are about to come over. The co-dance captain and the dance captain, Lindsay and Jasmine, you guys know them. And we're gonna go through a first little run through just to see how much we remember of the show. My jaw hurts. But whatever. Ow. Anyway. That's what's happening. We're gonna run over the show and see how much we remember. The band is getting back together. First day rehearsal. It's happening. It's finally happening. We just finished the first rehearsal and it was great, but we have a lot to work on also. Yeah. <laughs> but not bad for the first. It could be worse, you could know nothing, honestly. Yeah. But I'm excited, it's gonna be great. So I'm sure you guys won't be able to believe this, but it's the day before the first time I performed in a long ass time. And I can't find anything that I wanna wear. It's really hard, anything to sew. I don't know, I have no clue. I'm, I keep seeing things and I'm like, oh, should I get that, oh, should I get that? I don't know. Like, nothing's standing out to me, and it's really starting to, like, hurt my feelings. I guess we'll figure it out. All right, I'm back home after about an hour. I'm not kidding you, an hour. I've never taken that long in the store. An hour of looking for fabric. <laughs> <laughs> them asking me, you need help? You need help? And then finally they just left me alone. And I was like, I have to pee. So I went to the bathroom in this fabric store. Shout out to Sarah's Fabrics. Um, and um, went to the bathroom and on my way out and tucked into the corner was this multicolored sequin fabric. And let me show it to you guys. I actually really like it. It's multicolored. It's cool. It's going to give some impact. Now i got to figure out what the hell I'm going to make out of it. <laughs> it's not even really showing It's how gorgeous it is on camera, but on stage, this is going to look amazing. So, yeah. Figured that part out. Um, yeah. So, now i got to make something. That's what's got to happen. Because... I have a little over 24 hours, but I'm used to this. I can do this. I so fast. So, all right.
Okay, so I'm up early Saturday morning, the day of the show. Well, really, it's really 2 o'clock in the morning, so I got time, right? This is so pretty, right? It's going to look really good on stage. Very festive. Kind of dangles around, too. But the point is, I'm making a leotard. <laughs> and this is what I do. Um, I just take an old leotard that I already have, the shape of it, just as a guide, so it's just really quick. Cut out, fold the fabric in half, cut out the shape, and then we finesse it as we go. Um, this is going to be really cool. Um, but I haven't made a leotard in a long time, which is really funny because I keep making gowns for other people. I haven't really made, and also for myself, but I haven't actually made a leotard. So this should be really cool. I think it's going to look really good. I mean, the star of this costume is going to be the actual sequin, but... I'm going to have a lot left over. I might actually cover some boots and wear them on stage tonight. Stay tuned. All right, so it's this simple. I fold the fabric in half. I put the leotard flat with the arms inside. I got a gin bottle holding it down <laughs> as a weight because I don't have, like, fabric weights yet. But, um, and then I take my special pair of scissors that are I designate just for cutting out, um, sequins because they can sequins can dull your scissors so i use a different pair of scissors than i do to for the other uh, i'm going to cut a little bit bigger around because i want to leave a little bit of seam allowance especially in the crotch but i'm cutting two pieces of fabric at the same time right here and then I go up the side which is actually easier to cut bigger is always better because you can't add fabric but you can oh, Take more away. And this is the armholes. Now I'm gonna cut a little bit higher here because I am going to put in some shoulder pads and I kind of want them to be very severe. And I like to leave a little bit of allowance in the crotch area just because sometimes fabrics only stretch in one direction. And this one stretches a little in both, but the more stretch, the better the fit. But this is a general shape of the attire leave a good amount of space in here because that's for my boobs. Um, but yeah. You could just cut one side of this and then fold it in half and make sure the two are even, but I already know this is even. I'm going to go around to the other side and cut the top part off. And I'm going to leave a little bit more space because I am putting shoulder pads in. I'm probably gonna cut it down like this, in this area, around the neck area. Cause I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do as far as that part yet, but yeah, let's see. So that's just a rough thing of how it's gonna be. Obviously it's not gonna look exactly like that. But I left a lot of space for really thick shoulder pads because I've got these really big shoulder pads and I might actually double them up to give a really severe avant-garde look. But that's how I first cut out the pieces. Then all I have to do is go in and sew up here, 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 the crotch, put a zipper in, add the sleeves. That's it. It's not that hard. So I sewed up the sides. I have this on the top of clothes and I wanted to know if it was still fit. And then I put a zipper in the back. As you see, there's gold. And now I still have to put the sleeves on, but I just wanted to see how the shoulder pads were gonna fit in there. And these are like an inch thick. So that's like, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. I got a little seam allowance there. Now this is on top of a tank top and jeans. It still fits. I haven't decided yet if I want to do something where I'm like, put a sheer piece here, like sheer black, or to break up the, the color a little bit, but this is really cute. Yes. Oh, loving it. Um, and I still haven't even hemmed the underside here, but this actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. That's... Kinda it. Like, yeah. 
I may cut it down the center right here. I don't typically wear a bra on stage. I'm having a bra on right now. Um, but maybe just to do a sheer piece right there, maybe. I don't know. We'll see once I get the sleeves on. But it's, I mean, it's comfortable. I can dance in it. <laughs> but it's just simple right now. Um, the statement is definitely the this. But I may cover some boots. And we'll see how that goes. But this is cute. I still have to cut in right here to make the leotard a little less, like, co too much coverage going on. But other than that, I like it. It wins. Okay, change of plans. I think I want two sets of shoulder pads in here. Because look at this. This looks amazing. I'm hoping I don't look too much like a football player. <laughs> But very like giving 80s, I, I took two sets and look at this. This is actually really, really super thick. Like these are thick as hell. They're already an inch thick, so that's two inches stacked on top of each other like that. Kind of has a Balmain thing to it. I kind of like it. We'll see. We'll put the, I tell you what, we'll do the sleeves and then we'll see if there's enough room or if it's comfortable to have two there. Oh, that's so funny. I look so lopsided like I love like this. <laughs> okay, right now it's a little big <laughs> and my breasts are much bigger than they were last time I performed. Uh, I need a little more support. I need to take all this in. The arms are really big, but this is the basic idea. I may still cut down in here and put a piece in a sheer piece because I kind of, I might, I don't know. We shall see. And I make boot may make or cover boots, but I got time. So, yeah, that's really bad. So the thing is, it reflects light onto my face. So you see there, like it's like, so <laughs> that's funny. But I think the stage lights will probably reflect more. Actually, I don't know. We'll we shall see. But it's a little big, and I got spanks on right now. But it's a little big. We're gonna fix that right now. So now that the costume's finished, I put it on my dress form, which I kind of never do for myself because I just put it on my body. <laughs> and um, I'm taking out some of these sequins here because there was already a natural like line there. And because they're stitched in a, in a line there, I'm going to go in and kind of give myself a little bit of sheer black, like kind of not nude illusion, but kind of like, yeah. Exactly that. Like I'm just in here taking that out so that center is a little bit highlighted. Then I'll go back in and take these all oh, these little threads out. Because this is just mesh, which is why this is so stretchy. I'm probably going to have to wear a nude bra underneath this. You won't be able to see it, but I probably will have to wear it just because the girls are a little bit bigger than they used to be. <laughs> and um, I kind of need to, I need a little support while moving around. I typically never wear a bra on stage, so this is going to be interesting because then when I do my concert, I'm going to have to build the bras all into the costumes, which is fine. I just never had to. It's just like one extra step. I'm being very careful with these tiny little scissors to take this off so I'm not cutting mesh in. I'm just cutting off the loop where the sequin is. And it's actually working out pretty cool. I actually like the look of it. It's just a subtle thing, but I'm going to do that there and then also in here and it'll be like a really cool v right there yeah so yeah it's gonna be good you don't really have a whole lot you just like here and here and here so same with the wednesday and thursday we don't have any over here doing sound check and setting up. What we like to do for a lot of stuff like this is Put the money in your mouth and 
Okay.